What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Traven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so, yeah, after an infuriating episode of, uh, trying to capture Suicune and all that fun stuff, yeah, I'm finally over it, I really am, made me realize a few things. I need to upgrade my team just a little bit. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Oh god, Draven went back on his word. Oh my god, he's finally using a legendary Pokemon on his team. No, calm down guys, calm down. Instead, I am actually switching up a, a team member. Uh, I've been saying this for quite, uh, quite some time, and I think it's finally time to actually do it since we're going to be going uh, up against a Dragon-type gym leader. And, uh, well, what a better Pokemon to actually have than, uh, not Toxic Batman, but Lapras right here. As you can see, it is both a water and ice type Pokemon, level 20, and I did teach him quite a few moves like Surf and Icy Wind. Um, yeah, its stats pretty good. Speed just a little bit slow, but you know what, it will speed up just a little bit now. If you guys are wondering when or how did I capture Lapras, go back to, uh, shoot, what was the episode? Oh, the longest episode ever, yes. I captured this Pokemon on the longest episode ever. You can only capture him on Fridays at the Union Cave. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, it still has its, its given name. So we're going to be going to Goldenrod City first because I just came up with a very good nickname. Very, very good nickname for this Pokemon. We got to nickname him right now. Now, I know. Freaking uh, Quagsire had a... A nice, nice uh, set move, or a set, or a move set. But the thing was that you know, it just kept on getting beaten all the time, and it just like it, eventually it was it, like one of these Pokemon was gonna catch up to him. So I decided to make the switch to a, a better Pokemon right here, in my opinion, which can actually learn a lot more better moves in the long run. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna be switching up its name. Giving him its nickname right here, and I've already figured it out. Nessie. That's right. We're gonna be calling him Nessie. You know why? Because of the Loch Ness monster. I guess that's what's based off of Nessie. That's right. So let's go back to Ecrotech. No, 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 not Ecrotech. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's go back to Mahogany Town, and uh, let's get this whole adventure on our, on its way. It's finally time, guys. And uh, let's go ahead and try out our new Nessie Pokemon right here. And uh, I'm going to tell you the story about how I wanted to switch up a bunch of my Pokemon right here. So here we go. First trainers first. I'm, I'm going to win for sure. That's right. I'm going to be digging on a Psychic right here. Look at that. He has two Pokeballs floating up right there. And his name is Phil. He's coming out with a Natu. Perfect. Level 24. Let's go, Nessie. We're going to be using Icy Wind. And uh, that future sight might hit us eventually. But here's that icy wind. Ice. A nice type move. Look at that. Takes a bunch. And let's finish it off with some body slam right here. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nessie, you just. Wow. And yes, I did give him the experience here because we need to speed up this, uh, this whole process. And I'm going to stay with Nessie right here because much more of a physical Pokemon than Dabra. So let's go with Body Slam and uh, that Disable does not work out. So here we go again. Body Slam. Paralysis. That's right guys, I said it. Paralysis. Paralysis. And that Future Sight finally hits us. Wow. Doesn't take a lot, but you know, it hits us eventually. And there's that Body Slam for the win. Look at that. Look at that. Level, just level 20 and still kicking butt right here. He's like, ah, that's a shocking loss. Believe it. And our mama calls us. She's like, hi, Draven, how are you? I found a, a useful shy item. Sorry, I bought it with your money. And, uh, yeah, you'll find it on your PC. Whatever. Okay, so let's move on right here. Um, there's a tree right here. I think we get a burnt berry. That's good. Very, very good. And there's a Pokeball right here. That's right. That's good. All right. So, but right after we captured Suicune, I was actually thinking of switching up like three of my Pokemon. And some of you guys have been telling me that, hey, you know, why don't you go capture a Chinchou? It's both an electric and water type Pokemon. And, you know, 
it was very, very enticing because it was it would actually take out two of my Pokemon uh, from my team. Um, the only problem was, well, the only thing was for me was that, you know, I got Ela Kid from an egg. That was like a that was like a first time for me. And since I have Ela Kid and now it's Electabuzz and all that stuff, I might as well use it because it's a very rare Pokemon, and it's in my opinion, it's a very good Pokemon. And, uh, you know, that, that ruled out Elec Kid. Or, no, not Elec Kid, but Chinchow. The other Pokemon that I was thinking of using was Poliwag. And look at that. Nessie's just kicking butt. It's the Nessie show right now. Um, yeah. I was actually thinking of using Poly, Poliwag, uh, Psyduck. But then again, I was like, well, I already have a Psychic type Pokemon. Um,. And, you know, having a, fi a fighting type Pokemon would be nice. But the thing was that, you know, that's why I have Ursaring. You see, I'm looking at it from every every perspective here, guys. And uh, at one point, I was actually thinking of using what? Oh, yeah, I was actually thinking of uh, capturing a Magnemite. Just because of a Steel Electric type thing. But, again, Electabuzz. Why, why would I want to switch? Seriously. The only logical Pokemon that I would I would rather switch would be uh, Lucky, and that's because again it was giving me a lot of trouble towards the very end, and I didn't think that it was gonna actually uh, survive uh, Claire or or Lance once we get to the Elite Four. So that's where I made the switch with uh, Nessie right here, and you know I'm actually glad I'm actually glad that I'm using Nessie right now because it's dominating, it's kicking butt. Look, it's giving me better results. Look at that. Probably should have used this Pokemon when I was going up against a uh, Suicune. And there it goes. There it goes. Ne oh wow. Yeah, I probably should have stick uh, stuck with Nessie. Yeah. Anywho, now what is? Oh wow, Mama's calling us again. Hi, Draven. How are you? While well, shopping, I saw this adorable doll, so I bought it with you. Oh wow. Okay. Thanks, Mom. I'll check it out later. Now, one of the things with uh, Poliwag was that I was going to evolve it into a Poliwrath. The only thing was, where do we find a Water Stone? Cool thing about it was that if you talk to this guy, he's like, that Poliwag that got away, it was huge. It, I swear it must have been 16 feet long. Oh, I bet it was fun, I'd say, when I'm fishing a sometimes snag items that people have dropped. Do you want them? Yes. Talk to this guy, get his phone number. If you want a water type Pokemon that evolves through a water stone, this guy is the guy that will give you the water stone. It's just you're gonna it's gonna take you quite a well it's quite, it's gonna take you quite some time to actually get the water stone. And that was my thought too. But as you can see, look at that. Polyworld. I could have caught Polyworld right here. Whole bunch of possibility here. And uh, wow, he would not let me go. So, there, again, like, like I said, there's a whole bunch of possibilities right here, guys. Um, ultimately, it just went with Lapras right here, and, uh, wow. He will not let me go, you... Oh, come on. Yeah, I probably should have gone with Polyroll. Damn, water Pokemon. Seriously? Okay, so, I'm gonna switch out right here. Hit Thunder. Kill this guy. I might as well get experience points while I'm at it, right? Alright. I, I seriously thought I was going to use the bitch slap move. Okay. Here we go. Thunder Punch. That's right. Go to sleep, Polyroll. Go to sleep. You're pathetic. That's right. That's right. And of course, Nessie grows to level 22. Trying to learn to confuse rate. Right? Huh. Well, I don't really need Sing right now. I don't need Sing, but eventually, you know, we'll get to a point. We'll get to a point where we'll, we'll, be, we'll be using a sleeping type move. I learned my lesson, and time to heal up my Pokemon right here. Nessie, you have a bunch of HP as well. That's that's, an, that's another good thing about having uh, this Pokemon. Alright, so let's see, there's an item right here. Yes, you can find a Max Revive right here. I think it's one like one of the three that you can actually find. And there's a Pokemon trainer that we need to get to. Alrighty. Let's go right here. Ooh, perfect person. That's right. I'll do anything to get my hands on a rare Pokemon. Anything, eh? Probably shouldn't be saying that, bro. 
probably shouldn't be saying that. So here we have a Pokemimo Zack, and he's going to be coming out with his Rhyhorn. Perfect. This is all perfect for me because Nessie is a water type Pokemon. And I can use Surf. Look at that. You know, I could have used Hydra as well. Could have used Hydra too. But I was like, eh, you know what, let's go with Nessie. I want to go with Nessie. Nessie's growing levels, man. Look at that. The Nessie Show. Featuring Nessie, the Lapras. That's right. Okay, what is this item right here? Oh, an Ultra Ball. Could have used that against Suicune. Not. And we got more Pokemon trainers right here. So he's like, I can tell you're a good trainer by looking at you. I'm a good Pokemon. Or I'm good at Pokemon. And I can see that you are too. Yeah, you, you just said that. He just said that. Okay, so here we have cool trainer. What's his name? Alan. And he's going to come out with his Charmeleon. So yes, this is all Nessie right here. Except for Ele e e like or Kid Thunder. Wow, completely forgot their names right here. And this guy's going for a smoke screen. Don't like that you did that, bro. I don't like that you do that. And here we go with the surf attack. There we go. Oh, come on. It could have fainted right there. And here comes that amber attack. Does it do damage? Not a lot. Oh, wow. The one time. Let's go with body slam. Nope, that ember attack again. Jeez, come on. This smoke screen attack, I swear to god, it's pissing me off. Come on. No, I'm gonna continue on with Nessie right here, but this guy's just gonna go with his ember attack. You wouldn't hit a blind person, right? There we go. There we go. Down. Down, down, down. And, oh, wow. Nearly grows another level right there. It's like... Total loss of part on my part. Yeah, whatever. Okay, hopefully our mom doesn't call us again just because. Alright, let's go with another super potion right here. Yeah. Alrighty. Super potion. Okay, so who's next? This little girl right here? She's like, you look strong. Good trainers seek tough opponents instinctively. Hmm. Okay. She sounds like a cool uh, cool trainer. And she is. Okay. Her name is Sybil. And she'll come out with her Butterfree, which is... Wow. Every single one of these Pokemon trainers have something for, for Nessie right here. Okay. Alrighty. And that Sleep Powder does not work. So here we go with an Icy Wind. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Should have... Well, it slowed you down just a little, so here we go again with another Icy Wind. There we go. And uh, would you look at that. Level 23, and more growing levels. And this girl's going to come out with a Blossom, so let's go again. Let's do this. Icy Wind Attack. Attack of the Icy Wind. By Nessie. And, uh... Well, Hula Hoop or Hawaiian Lady is almost done, and wow. I guess this is like, what, the fourth time we've been paralyzed? Wow, this is like, kind of miss it, just a little. I almost miss it a little, and wow, that absorb just, it, it hits us pretty hard right there. Here we go again with another quick, or an icy wind. No. Uh-oh. We better hurry up. This character, oh wow, she's going to be using Solar Beam right here. Let's go. Icy win for the win. And, uh, yeah, look at that. Buh bye bye. Oh, I'm loving the experience points right now. Easy training. Sybil's like, nope, that won't do it all. That's right. It won't. Alrighty. Well, it's uh, been a while since we've been paralyzed. So let's go ahead and use one of these berries on uh, onto Nessie right here. Good, good, Nessie. Good. All right, let's move forward right here. I think that we got one more trainer, and it's uh, a bird trainer, I think. Yes, it is a bird trainer, and there he is. Talk to this guy. He's like, "Do you know about the legendary bird Pokemon?" Yes, I do. I have all three of them. 
Yes, I do. So here we have Bird Keeper Vance, and he's coming out with his Pidgeotto. All right. Just keep him coming. I'm just saying this right now. Keep them coming. Let's go. Icy Wind, and there's that quick attack. Come on. Icy Wind better just destroy this Pokemon right here. Nearly finishes him off right there, and speed has fallen, so let's go with the Surf Attack here. Oh yeah. Bye bye And, uh, huh, hello, level 24. Oh yeah, this Pokemon's growing quickly. I'm loving it, and here we have another Pidgeot, so we're going to keep it with uh, the Nessie. Featuring Nessie. And let's finish him off with the Icy Wind. Icy Wind. Bye bye And, uh, wow. Nearly makes him faint. So let's go back to that combination of Surf, right? Surf, Quick Attack, Surf Attack. And, uh, well, that's the end of that chapter. That is the end of that chapter. Good job, Nessie. Good job. So I'm liking my new Pokemon right now. Probably should have used them a long time ago. Wow. Alrighty, so here we are in the entrance of the Ice Path. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to just stay right here. Wait until the next episode, guys. I'm going to keep you guys in suspense. The next episode, we're going to be going into the Ice Path and battling a whole bunch of trainers. Maybe. I don't know. We shall see. See you guys.